Welcome to CGMA Interviews with the Masters. Today, we will be interviewing Lian Cho. He's a senior storyboard artist based in Paris. He's also teaching our master class storyboarding for animation. Registration for CGMA is now open. Uh, we are in our spring term, and we have registration is open until May 1st. And feel free to ask questions anytime uh, we will do our best to get to all of your questions. We will, we'd like to keep a nice flow with the interview, so if your question is off topic, that's fine. I'll, I'll ask Lian towards the end or whenever it uh, is good. And um, yeah, so please give a warm welcome to Lian Cho. Hi, everyone. Uh, nice to meet you guys. Uh, thank you, Jonathan, for, for this uh, interview. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, I'm very glad to be part of the of the CG Master Academy uh, uh, team. Uh, so to s I'm going to start to maybe to talk a bit about my myself. So uh, I'm a French storyboard artist. I graduated from a, a French animation school called Gobelin in 2007, and uh, I started my career first as a 2D animator. So right after school, I went to Scotland as a key animator for the movie called The Illusionist from Sylvain Chaumet, where I spent uh, almost two years. And then I came back to Paris to work on another feature film, 2D, called Zarafa. And I made a lot of uh, great, uh, actually, uh, 2 d animators from, from Disney, Disney Paris. And, uh, and uh, after this experience, uh, well, it was, Kind of hard to find some 2D animation in feature uh, in Paris, so I started to uh, think about maybe to try storyboard, but I never done that before. It was uh, actually uh, I wasn't very very good at it at school, and uh, I, I at that moment uh, uh, there was a project called The Little Prince, uh, directed by Marcos Born, who was the director of one of the director of Kung Fu Panda, and they were giving tests. Uh, to do storyboard, to 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 uh, to recruit storyboarders in Paris. So I say, okay, why not give it a chance? Even if I've never done some storyboard, and even if I've made no storyboard to show to him. So so I had this nice interview with him. He presented his project was really wonderful. And then of course I show some of my animation, and uh, and explain to them that yeah, of course I never done storyboard, but I was very very into acting and psychology into characters. I, really, I was, in my animation. I was really putting a lot of effort on that, and so he actually they say okay, why not give him a test? So I just did the test. It was a bit scary. But I've done it before, so I did the test, and uh, and uh, and at the beginning he he didn't hire me yet, but with this test I could do another test. I could apply to another picture film called Asterix, uh, which was in in uh, Asterix and Le Domaine des Dieux, directed by uh, co-directed by Louis Clichy, which was a who was a ex Pixar animator, mm -hmm. and uh, I start on this production as a story artist. Uh, uh, it was very very nice experience, but a bit more cartoony, which was also fine to to start with. And then later, uh, after a month, uh, uh, little the little prince called me called me to say that they were actually interested to to hire me. So that's how I when I moved to to the little prince, uh, and uh, and that's how actually uh, uh, I learned my job as a story artist. I spent almost uh, yeah six months on this production. And, uh, and under the supervision of, uh, of uh, Bob Persichetti, who was uh, also the head of story of Pussy and Boots in DreamWorks. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, I learned really a lot, uh, first, of course, with the uh, American system, because uh, it's, uh, it was, uh, of course, um, it's an American movie. So I learned first uh, with the American approach of, of storyboarding. And, uh, and after this uh, very great experience, I worked on several projects. Uh, uh, like for example, Low Way North, uh, uh, like you can maybe see on my on my screen, and it's a French, uh, let's say, integral movie in 2D, and it won the the, the audience award in NSC 2015. So I was one of the storyboarder uh, of the of the of the team. We were three in total, and then later after the storyboard, I I was I, I direct the animation. 
And since then, I'm working on different projects uh, uh, as a storyboarder or 2D animator. Uh, I recently worked with uh, RealFX uh, for their next uh, feature film called uh, Wish Police. Uh, directors are the Spanish uh, headless. And uh, that's it. That's it for my experience. So to talk maybe uh, my, a bit about my vision of storyboard, uh, of course, there is, uh, everyone has their different personality. Uh, I mean, uh, of course, as I I'm, I'm, uh, uh, have a background of a 2D animator, actually animation, so I'm, I'm very into character psychology. Uh, I really like uh, uh, yeah, the, the, the way uh, to create a um, uh, relationship between characters, develop their personality. And the good thing with storyboard compared to animation, animation you concentrate in one scene, but here you concentrate on the whole sequence actually. So you can work the acting, the relationship with the character, between the character in the whole sequence, which I found actually very, very, very interesting. So, uh, so what else I can see? Uh, I can say, uh, I, um, <clears throat> uh, I let's say that, of course, uh, the good thing with the storyboards is I don't need to be that tight. I, we don't care about the model. Uh, we can be quite loose with the drawing, which I really love because I'm actually quite rough. And uh, and uh, actually, to talk a bit of, about my workflow. I uh, actually I know that when you begin storyboard, uh, you you you're very scared about drawings. Want to do some very nice drawings, some scale of perspective and things like that. And uh, actually, uh, I believe it's very important to think more about ideas first. And uh, I will give you I will show you a little example with a sequence uh, I've done uh, to explain you a bit more. Uh, okay, let me open this this video. It's actually a sequence from a uh, long way north. Actually, it's my 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 first uh, my first sequence. Oh, I see. There is a question. I have a question. What art animation program do you suggest? Uh, I mean, I'm working with Flash. <laughs> yes, I know that uh, Flash is not uh, a very popular program, but uh, I actually really love it because uh, it's not very. Uh, you need to draw very well. I mean, it's very vectorial lines that uh, it allows me to go faster, to concentrate more on ideas, actually. And also, I can flip uh, between drawings, which is really nice to keep a nice flow uh, compared to programs like, like Photoshop, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, OK. So OK, before to show uh, 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 this little sequence I've done on Low Enough, I will just explain, OK, uh, how was this process? First, I received, of course, a script, uh, so just words. And of course, at, at the beginning of the production, you don't have a lot of assets, you don't have a lot of background research, maybe just a few, uh, sometimes not even model sheets for the character, so you have to, uh, let's say, uh, improvise. And, uh, and uh, of course, you, it's very important to realize that all these things are not really important. The most important is how you, how you tell a story, all the ideas. To, to, to make the audio, to, to communicate emotions to the audience. Mm -hmm. uh, so first of all, I just going to explain a bit uh, what I had on the script. So our main character, Sasha, from the way north, is uh, actually waiting in her bedroom and uh, uh, before the ball starting. And, uh, and uh, suddenly she, uh, she remember uh, some, let's say, earrings that her grandfather offer, offer her. Actually, her grandfather uh, was dead two years ago, so she's a bit in the grief. You know? mm -hmm. And then she realized that uh, uh, she's looking at the at the at the earrings everywhere in her in her bedroom, but couldn't can't find it. And then she remembered that the earrings might be in her grandfather's bedroom. So okay, so that was the script I have. So first of all, it's uh, it's uh, for me that my first uh, uh, question was okay, how how did Sasha think about the earrings? I mean, it's not coming like that, you know. So I'm gonna, I, I was thinking, okay, maybe I'm gonna start to build, a, 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 let's say, a process to make her think about uh, 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 these earrings. So I was thinking maybe she could, uh, uh, maybe on her desk, uh, she, there is a picture of, uh, of her, she was a kid with her grandfather. 
And when she's uh, watching this picture, maybe she can see herself with uh, these earrings, actually. And that makes her think about these earrings. And after that, I was thinking, but what makes her think about want to watch this picture? I mean, what, why? Maybe because she starts to think about her grandfather. You know, she, she has this nostalgic thinking and, uh, and uh, thoughts, sorry. And, and she, okay, that's why she, she, she decided to, 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 to watch uh, this picture, let's say that. Mm -hmm. But then uh, what made her think about her grandfather like that? I mean, why uh, all of a sudden after two years, you know, I was thinking maybe she was uh, uh, watching a boat because he's actually an explorer and he, he has a, a big boat to explore the, 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 the North Pole. And maybe by watching this boat on her window, maybe that makes her think about the grandfather. And then, of course, what makes her, uh, what makes her uh, watch this boat uh, uh, on the on the on the window? In the window, it's maybe because uh, there is a shadow of uh, because it's actually a sunset, so the, the light is quite very uh, horizontal. So maybe the, the shadow of uh, of the boat passing uh, under the the the, the, the the, the window uh, makes her uh, watch the window. So I'm gonna. I hope it's not too too too, too uh, unclear. So I'm gonna start the sequence. There's a bit of music, and I'm gonna talk on top of it. So Sasha is just at the desk waiting. Then we see a boat coming through the window. Kind of create shadows on her, and then. She starts to watch it, watch the boat pass. And then by watching this boat, she just starts to watch this uh, picture. And then by watching this picture, she just realized, oh, there is this, uh, this earrings. And then she starts to look at it. OK, where is it? And then she starts to think, oh, Okay, and then she, she remember, oh, it's maybe upstairs uh, in her grandfather's room. So as you can see, okay, uh, it's it's not full storyboard because uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a material from production. Uh, there is some some line test actually, some some working progress line test. Uh, what you see here is actually uh, uh, not my drawings. It's uh, the director who who did some layout on this. And, uh, and my storyboard looks like more like, like this kind of drawings, you see, very rough. Okay. Because at this stage, uh, you know, you're not very sure about uh, if your story will work. And it's very important to, to, to actually to, to go quite fast. Uh, of course, you need the time to, to think about your ideas. It's very important. But uh, you cannot spend too much on your drawing because you know that if sometimes, you know, I mean, most of the time, your 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 sequence is uh, thrown out in the garbage because or because of rewriting or because of uh, yeah story change you know so it's very important to 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 have this aptitude of uh, of uh, of rough of rough drawings but clear of course into the expression and uh, let me think so I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna try to insist on that. It's very important to 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 find a, a graphism, like uh, like your own way to, to draw, uh, uh, but in a very very uh, uh, let's say uh, fast way. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I can show you uh, an example of sequence, uh, and also yeah, just to talk about it yeah because uh, I don't know of course I used to work uh, in uh, European. Uh, Production and you have to you have crazy deadlines, so that's why you cannot spend too much time on the drawings. Okay, this is another sequence from Long Way North. Uh, this is just my drawing, so there is no line test, whatever. So you'll see. So it's actually uh, at the let's say first third of the movie when Sasha is uh, training herself to be a. Uh, waitress and as she has a very aristocratic background you know, she has to learn uh, they say the hard way so you know, 
interesting thing in this sequence is to show the evolution of Sasha from uh, this, uh, like she's very clumsy at the beginning, and uh, and uh, after a while, you know, uh, she uh, she starts to to, uh, to be more confident. She feels totally in her environment. Okay, that's it. So as you can see, it's a, it's very rough. <laughs> uh, it's very cool, though. It's awesome. But uh, yeah, thank you. But uh, yeah, I mean, in, on the, in the script, I had maybe like uh, eight lines of script, and uh, and I had to 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 of course the script explain that okay, uh, she has to do a lot of different tasks and and. Uh, and uh, you have to show that uh, the evolution of the character, and uh, and uh, yeah, so you have to 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 bring a lot of ideas to a lot of of brainstorming with the director, and and come up with ideas to to show this evolution, and that's actually the main thing of storyboard. It's really to to bring ideas to develop them, and uh, and and so you can communicate emotion uh, uh, to the audience. That's why it's very important to, to really focus on that at the beginning, instead of, of, a, of a very precise and nice drawings. Of course, they have to be very clear, you know, but, uh, but uh, it's very important to focus on ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, as I can say, okay, okay. So maybe I can start to, 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 uh, to to talk about maybe some difference between the, the because for example Long Way North and The Little Prince was very very two different production and uh, I don't know uh, I mean I guess uh, you are all over the world you probably experience a different thing so for example on The Little Prince uh, it was more uh, really the, the American way we had a script but the script uh, the the director asked us what to really respect it you know they, they allow us to to explore. So we can do almost whatever we want, mm -hmm. and uh, and they just want ideas, you know, and uh, and uh, even if you have to rewrite or, or the script, it was okay, and 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 we have to to pitch to uh, to the director, and uh, like we are trying to sell ideas to the director, convince him that it's a it's a it's a cool idea. So it was a very interesting experience because uh, you it forced you to uh, yeah to to. Uh, not feeling ashamed because it's very hard to, to share personal ideas. You know, it's uh, you know, what if uh, he doesn't like my idea? What if he thinks it's bad? You know, it's very really hard actually, and uh, and uh, and you have to really, really. It's very important to put your ego on the side and don't hesitate to to open your brain and and throw up ideas. You know, because sometimes even bad ideas can lead to a very good idea. You know, so it's very important to don't be scared. You know, and just open your mind and and and, and think of. Of anything, uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, the difference with Long Way North is um, first we don't have the same budget, so of course uh, we, we, when you're going to be professional uh, storyboard, you will face uh, uh, I guess different kind of production uh, production when you have a lot of budget, a lot of time to explore, but also a lot of a uh, lot of uh, you have to to, to redo redo. Uh, uh, like the American way to throw out this, uh, and to work on the same sequence for several months, you know, until it's uh, it's nice. Or you have also the, the European way. I mean, the, let's say the French way, uh, where you don't have a lot of time and you have to be very efficient very quickly. And uh, and uh, and that's also yeah, that's why it's very it's very very complicated. Are uh, are those the biggest differences between the American and French style of approaching yeah, animated uh, movies? Usually, in the, yeah, uh, usually in European, you, you you have to stick quite much to the to the script. I mean, it's uh, the script is normally quite solid, uh, and, uh, and you have to be very to, to stick quite much on it. And uh, in America, it's a, a, a bit the opposite. I mean, if I give a, a very uh, very extreme example, for example, uh, uh, like uh, I know have friends work. On the on the production like the minions uh, from Illumination and the script I think was several pages you know so the, it was actually the storyboard who has to to create the movie actually so they have to come up with the gags so they, they spend two three years on the on the movie uh, uh, with uh, ten storyboarders 
and uh, and it took a lot of time. They they took probably uh, ten times the movie. I don't know, and uh, because they have the budget, it's very interesting because you can enjoy and invent. You can open your creativity. Mm. Uh, at the same time, it's very hard because uh, you, you you spend a lot of energy sometimes to to redo the same sequence so many times. You know, and mm -hmm. it can be very uh, frustrating, and especially that uh, when you see that. Uh, 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 your sequence being thrown out, something that you like, not because it's bad, because because uh, they have to rewrite the story, and now your sequence is not uh, uh, doesn't fit anymore with the uh, with the movie, you know. So it can be it's it's a very frustrating job, <laughs> but it's it's very nice because you 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 don't think yourself as an individual, but more you 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 do something for the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the thing is, I have a friend uh, 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 who worked at Pixar uh, during, uh, uh, and uh, and uh, he explained that uh, he had a friend in, in doing Ratatouille, working five years as a storyboarder in Ratatouille in Pixar, and at the end, none of his sequences are is in the movie. Wow! It's very difficult. It's very difficult, but they know the game. They know how it works. You know, they just go to, on holidays after that to relax. You know. But uh, the thing is, uh, uh, the thing is, they want even if his sequences are not in the final movie, uh, they won't be able to achieve what they have now without uh, the storyboard of this guy. You know, so it's a process of building on top, on top, on top. So yeah, I think it's very important to to think a uh, uh, storyboard about yeah, in this in this way. So yeah, it's hard for the ego, but. Uh, you know, you have just have to accept that it's the process, and right. uh, and uh, along way off, it's uh, it was a bit uh, half half. Let's say that so we have some freedom to to bring some ideas, uh, because the, the 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 director was actually one of the storyboarders as well, so it was very uh, easy to communicate with him. You know, mm -hmm. uh, so that's the that's the thing. Uh, what else? Uh, what kind of other difference? Uh, I mean, that's uh, that's uh, I think that's pretty much uh, it. Uh, to explain maybe a bit uh, the program, as uh, as, uh, as someone asked, I used to I, I usually use Flash for 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 storyboard. I know a lot of people are using Photoshop, for example, uh, or even TV Paint, or even Toon. So there is a, a two-room storyboard pro. Mm -hmm. uh, I use Flash because I'm used to with it, and uh, and uh, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty convenient for me. Why? Because compared to Photoshop, I can really uh, 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 flip between drawings. I can I can uh, of course reuse the same background. I can um, you know do some little effects. Uh, so it's also very very interesting, and also I don't need to to uh, focus too much in a very uh, very uh, nice line. So I just focus on idea. This is one of course. This sequence is not a, 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 a rough rough sequence. I, I did a, a, a let's say a tie down pass on it, but uh, the good thing by I think uh, that's my of course that's my that's my uh, my taste. I, I like to to work in a kind of a continuity. Uh, so, because maybe because of my animation background, I like to, to feel the flow of of, uh, of the character of the uh, of the scene, and uh, and uh, yeah, that's why I, I, I prefer to, to to work this way. Have you tried uh, Photoshop working this way in Photoshop or any other software? Yeah, I tried. I mean, uh, on Asterix, on my first uh, well, first on on the Little Prince when I did the test. I was working on Photoshop, and uh, and it was a bit hard because okay uh, maybe uh, there is a better technique, uh, uh, but uh, but uh, a better way to do storyboard on Photoshop. But it was hard for me because I couldn't really flip. I had to flip between drawings. I had to uh, mask and mask drawings uh -huh. layers. You know, it was very very tough for me. But uh, but uh, for me at the, at the beginning it was uh, okay. It was okay for for for. For, for, for to start, you know, and then on Asterix, uh, actually the, the director wanted to do on, on paper, and actually it was very hard on paper. It's actually very, I don't know how they could do it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how they can do it in Japan to, to, to story about on paper. <laughs> yeah. 
crazy. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a great drawer, to be honest. It's, it's very hard to, to, to uh, I'm not very good with perspective or things like that, but I know that with the software, you can, you know, you can uh, uh, transform, uh, free transform the things, you know, so you can pretty much try to get what you, what you want, you know, uh, almost. So uh, but that's why digital, it's very, for me, it's very, very, very nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, of course, you can put some little effects of uh, focus, uh, uh, like blur or, or things like that, which is nice, interesting to communicate. And of course, it's very nice to put, uh, um, let's say, tones, uh, just, you know, for example, just to, 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 uh, to determine the different level of, of, of depth in the, on screen, you know? So, uh, right. and to see the silhouette of the character, which is uh, quite interesting. And, uh, and uh, yeah, I think uh, because you can do very, uh, like very light drawing, like, like what I show here, you know, it's very, very rough. But uh, when you put uh, some, some, some gray level, you know, then immediately the, 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 the silhouette becomes more clear. You know, so it's actually interesting for me to work like that. And of course, a good thing with Flash is, uh, is the symbol. I don't know if you guys know. So if I, every scene is one symbol. So when I go into one symbol, I have different layer, of course, the background and uh, different character, which I can separate. Oh, which is interesting. And then, of course, you know, uh, all the different, uh, yeah, I can separate all my layers, which is interesting, oh. so which is uh, quite convenient. So that's it. Uh, I see that there is uh, some question. Uh, how is it to meet Pete Daughter? Okay, that's, I can, I can, I can answer at the end. What are, your, what are your favorite kind of things to storyboard? Yeah, actually, that's an interesting question. You have different profile of storyboarders. Uh, usually, of course, you have the, the storyboarders who like action, who are very good with action, dynamic uh, uh, cut, and things like that. Uh, for myself, I'm more into uh, emotion. emotion. Uh, uh, I, I'm very uh, into uh, like character psychology, character, uh, uh, um, uh, how do you say, relationship. Uh, of course, I, I love drama. It's something you don't. It's, some, it's something you don't see really often in animation. Usually, it's a lot of comedy. Comedy. I like uh, yeah, storyboard, sad things. You know, which was quite nice in *On the Little Prince* and also *A Long Way North*. So that's kind of my personality. Uh, so of course, uh, when you start a project, uh, of course the, the supervisor, the head of story, will cast the sequence uh, depending on, on your on your profile. That's uh, that's. Uh, I know that there is some storyboard who loves uh, like uh, nice natural backgrounds. Uh, I like. I know that there's storyboarders who like. Uh, and there's a lot of characters, a lot of lot of crowd, and other things like that. So, uh, so for myself, it's more acting emotional character. And uh, oh, okay, there is uh, someone who has a point in the picture. Okay, sorry. Uh, Okay, I have, a, so, I have a quick question. When yes. it comes to, um, you say you like to focus on the emotions of the character. How how do you um, describe the emotions of the characters? What are what do you, what are some uh, theories or tools or techniques that you use to be able to show the emotion of the character so well? I mean, just even in your samples that you're showing, I could really feel the characters. Uh, yeah, what is it well, that you think about? It's, um... It's a, it's a, it's a, I see what I see. I see your point. It, let's say that's a, the the problem with storyboard. It's a, there is some rules like technical rules, uh, like of course the rules of the one hundred eighty degrees uh, or things like that. So, but uh, uh, there is actually millions of way to how to put your camera. Of course, you know there is a millions of possibilities. And, uh, and it will depend on your own personality as well, you know, the way you want to show things. Of course, every director will show a, 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 a scene in a different way. And doesn't mean that there is a right way or a wrong way, you know. And uh, for, to, to, to show the emotion of the character, it's, I, I, I don't know if there is any like, technique of, uh, of it, you know. Uh, uh, you can show emotion through, of course, the, the face to show expression of, of a character. You can show actually even you can show emotion by filming only the, the feet 
of a character, actually. The way it moves, the way it hesitates of movie, depending on the context. It, uh, it's very, it's very, let's say, it's, uh, it's very hard to, to, to explain technically uh, mm -hmm. what kind of choice you can make, you know. And, uh, and uh, I think it's very important to watch a lot of movies. I mean, uh, not only animation, of course, not by action. Uh, uh, nowadays, movie, why not? But also, uh, of course, uh, uh, movies from the like old movies from the fifties, uh, uh, even the blockbuster from the eighties, which are very actually very interesting too. You know, so it's very interesting to 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 watch them. Sometimes, if you want to analyze them, the way they they they, they to understand a bit the composition of the image, uh, the way it has been cut, you know. And uh, and uh, it's very really interesting to analyze that, but I think it's even more in important and interesting to, to feel it. In that, uh, as the audience, the emotion you feel by watching that, you know, and try to to uh, uh, in your own way to uh, to uh, to do it in your storyboard. Mm. So that's uh, for me. That's very important because, uh, especially when you're a beginner, you you, you focus too much on the technique. On the drawing, right. how I'm going to draw this uh, perspective, uh, uh, how I'm going to draw this head or whatever to make it cool or whatever. I think yeah, it's very important, at, at least at the beginning, to 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 really uh, let's say go deeper than that first to really think about ideas, to really think about okay, how I'm going to communicate the emotion. Uh, you have to to show the face. You have to show only the the the, the, the character uh, closing this. Uh, uh, his hands, you know, and, and and make it tight, you know, or to, should I show just the reaction of all the characters around to describe the emotion of the main character? It's uh, there's so much way to, to show emotion. Actually, you can show it directly, you can show it indirectly, you can also not showing it and just let the, the audience guess, you know. It's uh, it's uh, that's why it's very interesting. It's just, it's very very creative, but not in a, let's say in a, in a draft way, in a drawing way, but more into uh, uh, ideas and uh, and how you, you tell the story. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, okay, I see that there is one question: How rough can we, can the board be? Well, of course, it depends on the production. Uh, most of, I, of course, most of my experience are on feature film. And uh, and uh, on feature, usually you don't have to be uh, very clean. Uh, it's uh, I mean, usually you can see on my on this example, it's very rough. You see, and uh, it was approved. And of course, it's going to be a, a very uh, it's, let's say very uh, difficult. Uh, I mean, the layer backgrounds had some difficult time you know, to understand. Uh, uh, but at least you know you 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 see the composition. You see a bit a bit of uh, of. Uh, Let's say a bit of perspective, a little bit, because you know you see the way I placed the the, the overlay character and the and the underlay character. Uh, as long as it's clear, you know, uh, and uh, and as long as you can, you still have the sense of a, of a composition, mm. and uh, it's it's fine. For example, here I didn't spend too much time uh, drawing uh, the background, so it could be a wall, could be, you know, so uh, so. Uh, so the layout background could have, a, yeah, could use his imagination to 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 work on that, because it's very important to not to to uh, to uh, focus too much on the layout. The uh, storyboard is really much about storytelling, and then normally there is another team who's taking care of uh, how beautiful uh, uh, should be the the the, the image, mm -hmm. and uh, and as long as it's clear, as long as uh, the the the, the Director understand it's fine. Of course, I know in TV series it's a lot different. In TV shows, you have to be, especially when it's 2D, uh, you have to be quite a model because usually uh, your storyboard will be served as a, like a mini layout, and uh, most of the time, you know, uh, the storyboard is sent to overseas, uh, 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 to for in Asia or something like that, to 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 so they animate the scene there, and of course they need to have very very precise uh, drawing and of course uh, most of the TV series they don't have the budget to to have a, a, a in-between step like a, like a, a cleanup storyboard you know uh -huh. that's, that's why the storyboard has sometimes has to clean it up himself and sometimes he has even has to to, to edit the storyboard himself you know 
which is uh, which is actually quite difficult. But this is another problem. And uh, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's um, how rough. I mean, it depends. I would say a uh, feature film it can be very rough. And of course, uh, if I have the time, if the production allows me, then I can I can uh, I can um, do a, a, a clean pass like I've done on uh, on 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 this uh, storyboard. Uh, they, they're being pretty much more rough, and then I had the time to to do a, a little more tight on pass. You know, usually they ask that when you have to show to producers. You know. Which don't really understand the the, the the concept of ref just to to sell a little bit bit more, you know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much like it. Uh, okay. And uh, and uh, I know that uh, um, of course during uh, I mean for who wants to do the the, the course, uh, everyone has their their own way to 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 to, to do the storyboard. Um, of course, there is uh, this way of. Uh, of, uh, for example, just uh, there's people who like to do the same old squares like that, and and see the continuity of uh, of a storyboard, which is interesting. Uh, why not? But uh, I think it's also very um, let's say important uh, nowadays to 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 uh, to uh, especially with now. I mean, a lot of. Uh, uh, People are a lot working with softwares right now to have this aptitude of, uh, of uh, let's say, panels and showing. And like usually, what the, when when you show uh, this kind of uh, when you show your work to a director, you have to actually pitch it at the same time. So you you just yeah, of course, uh, uh, run uh, the drawing one by one and pitching your ideas at the same time. So uh, so I think it's uh, and it's quite. For me, interesting to, to work this way because you can feel the flow uh, of of, uh, of, uh, of the of the of the cuts. You know, with this way, it's also very interesting. Uh, but sometimes it's very hard to, to feel for me the flow. It's nice to have a general view of the whole sequence, uh, but uh, I think at the end, it's very for me. Uh, it's uh, actually important to work more in the like uh, panel like that, so you can feel in the same screen. You know. Uh, the development of your of your sequence. Uh, what else can I say? Uh, so when when working the way that you prefer working, you're able to draw right on top of your previous drawing, right, to get the flow. Yes. Sir. Uh, just a second. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, um, if I understood your question, uh, I can. Yeah. Usually, what I what I do, of course, at the beginning, it's uh, it's uh, there's not much drawings like that. Okay, just just to explain really from the beginning my, my workflow. Uh, after uh, usually you have a, a very a briefing with the director and the head of story, and uh, and uh, of course it's the best moment to throw out all the ideas you want to to, to try and uh, and try to be in the right direction as much as possible before you start. And it's very important that uh, that you uh, think of everything. If you have any doubt uh, or things like that, it's very it's very important to discuss about it because uh, it's very a teamwork. That's the thing. It's very important with storyboard. It's a very big teamwork. So you have to 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 think about the, the briefing and throw up all the ideas, throw all the ideas. And then after that, uh, usually what I do is like actually. Like this, and do uh, like very thumbnails, and I do like, for example, just very, like, uh, uh, just uh, you know, uh, uh, very very quick sketch about uh, about uh, you know uh, uh, how I'm gonna uh, cut, you know. And usually, uh, I'm the only one who can understand these drawings, but at least you know it's very important to just rip it out in a very small small uh, small drawings, just to see if uh, if uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, just to, to to have already a, a sensation of a, of a, of a, you know of a, of a, of the thing you know, so so it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a, I don't know what whatever but uh, but it's it's nice to just throw idea for ID first even if it's very uh, crappy drawings and even if you're the only one to understand so you can actually uh, um, instead of because this is of course in the finality interesting but 
drawing one panel in a big like that, it can be something you can you can you can go too much into details. And having thumbnails like that first to 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 um, to, to to see to to like let's say organize your ideas first, you know, uh, I think it's also very very interesting. And then when you have a let's say a, a rough ideas of uh, of what you want to do. Then uh, after that you can go to to uh, to more let's say uh, this technique by this way of uh, individual panels, and of course first work it out uh, panels by panels, and then at the end uh, of course if you have time push the drawing a bit more. That's the, yeah that's the way I, I I do it. I can see that there is another question. What are the hardest things you have to storyboard? Well, of course, uh, it's uh, uh, actually it's not even the the, the, the sequence uh, 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 which is hard. Is I think the, the hard moment is when you, the the director doesn't know what he or she wants, and you have to guess, you know, and that's actually very difficult because uh, then you have to suggest ideas, and you don't know what he wants, and you saw a lot of things, you know, and it can be actually very. Uh, Frustrating, actually, very, very hard, and you start to 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 to, to lose a bit your energy. I mean, uh, uh, but uh, when your ideas are clear, you know, uh, and uh, and uh, there is a nice uh, ideas coming out, you know, then actually, even if it's a very hard action scenes or a very emotional sequence, you know, uh, it's uh, as long as uh, there is no let's say no doubt, you know, then it's uh, it's okay. But uh, but yeah, I think my, my, my uh, the moment where I struggle the most is when uh, you don't know what to do, you know, you do because you don't have any clue of any direction, and uh, then you have to come up with something, and uh, and sometimes uh, the script can be a big trap. Oh yeah, I forget to talk about that. Um, the, the 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 first mistake that uh, usually uh, beginners in storyboard do is they follow the script like uh, lines by lines. Mm. And uh, and uh, it's very it's very important to to think about script like uh, it's something that it's a pool. Uh, you 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 look at it, you read it once, you try to 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 have a feel of it, but then you have to put it aside, you know, and try to uh, to uh, not to forget it, but to to uh, try to 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 go over it, and uh, because that's the big trap to try to. Uh, you know, to do one one scene for every sentence, for every dialogue. You know, it's uh, it doesn't work like that, because the scriptwriter usually they are not storyboarders. You know, and sometimes it's work on the paper, on the on the as a as a as a writings. But when you put image on it, then it's a total different story. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's uh, it doesn't yeah doesn't look great at the at the end. So that's why most of the most of the of the of the first animatic, uh, you have to to redo a lot of things because uh, because then you realize that you have to rewrite and, and, and things like that. But yeah, it's very important to not to be slave of the script. It's important to understand it to understand the point, the relation between the character, the the, the emotion you need to communicate from the script. But then you have to let's say almost put it aside, even if you have to add new dialogues. To make it more, uh, to, to if you have yeah, to make it more strong, if you feel the need of that, you know, don't hesitate to to suggest it. You know, uh, if you have to put the dialogue in a different order, don't hesitate to, to do it as well. You know, it's very important to 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 how do you call that? To manipulate the script a little bit, a little bit so you can actually uh, uh, aim the the the, the right uh, the right emotion to the audience. So I think that's. Uh, Quite important, and uh, maybe I can answer to this question. How was it to meet Pete Doctor and guys at Pixar? When will Long Way North be out in Germany? I would love to see it. Well, it was amazing to to uh, to, to to meet uh, Pete Doctor and and Ronny Del Carmen, which are amazing story artists. Uh, first, and it was uh, amazing. Uh, it was really uh, a huge, uh, let's say, satisfaction when uh, when they tell when they tell you that uh, they love the movie and they talk about. It's uh, uh, a lot uh, after the screening, uh, and uh, now it's uh, it was uh, it was very very nice. Uh, I don't know when Long Way North will be out in Germany. 
I know that there is a, a festival in uh, in Munich in September. This September was going to screen screen it, I think. But right now, I don't have uh, this information, unfortunately. Now, uh, a technical question: Do you have any tips for laying down perspective quickly? Okay. Well, uh, as I told you before, that a big, big, I'm not a great draw, especially for perspective. Uh, of course, you have the basic thing. Of course, you know that there is a horizon line, you know, and of course, uh, you have this uh, this kind of uh, sorry, this kind of line to, to show a bit uh, uh, the perspective, you know, so you know that uh, you have a bit like that, this kind of flow, and of course, this, and then you place stuff like that. It's uh, usually I like to just place some 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 lines, you know, uh, uh, just to fill the, the space because it's hard for me to to, to fill the space when it's a blank paper. Uh, or otherwise, when you when you have like a, 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 a top shop, you know, top shot, I like to put some uh, some lines like that, and then you know, place a, a character, you know, uh, you know, for example, like like, like this, you know. You know, and just you know, uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. So you can feel that it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bottom shot, and then of course top shot is the same. You know, you just have to. Thank uh, you, thank you, you. Just we have the feel of a, of a, of a, of perspective really, very roughly. You know, of course everyone has their their way. You know, but uh, but that's that's in my way. And I think it's very important to, to find yours. And then, uh, uh, of course, the, the, the good thing is also when you have a, like a, you know, like a very uh, different, uh, uh, like this is the overlay, let's say that, you know, and then you have maybe for a different vector, you have uh, maybe your, your character is here, you know, you know, and then behind, you know, you have uh, maybe some uh, uh, right, uh, background, you know, maybe I don't know what whatever thing you can have. You can also play with the uh, with the uh, with the tone, you know, to feel uh, the the depth, you know. So there is a lot of way to 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 show perspective. I would say. Uh, do you ever have to draw things out of ray paper before drawing them digitally? Yes, actually, uh, you know this. Sorry, up now. You know this process when I do thumbnails. I usually do it on paper uh, because uh, I don't know. I feel more comfortable with paper, you know. And uh, and uh, I, uh, I uh, yeah. Then I can. Do, of course, it's hard because then it's a different order. It's very hard to 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 select. And copy and, and paste the right order. I just, but it's fine. I just do it on papers, just uh, little thumbnails. Then when I'm happy, put some numbers on it, and uh, and then after that, yeah, and then I, I, I work on flash. Uh, what pen do you choose to sketch in flash pen? Please, I mean the hardware. I uh, hardware. I mean I'm using. Uh, I, I I used to draw on Cintiq. Uh, but I mean, this is me, of course. Uh, in, uh, I know there's people who like to draw on the graphic tablets, but it's really, really up to you. But uh, but uh, otherwise, uh, for me, it's not really important uh, the, the, the the pen. I mean, uh, as long as there is something coming out of it, it's fine. Uh, okay. Mm. What do you suggest when building a storyboard portfolio if you want to work as a story artist? Well, I mean, um, I, again, it depends of uh, of uh, of uh, of, uh, of the people. Usually, me, I I like to 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 show uh, the animatic uh, because it's easier to put uh, on uh, on uh, on Vimeo and and uh, and show it with uh, as a continuity, you know. Because usually, uh, you don't have the you don't have the possibility to, to pitch your sequence when it's image by image. So usually, I, I, I uh, when I work in the production, I uh, I try to to uh, at the end to grab the animatic so I can cut uh, uh, my sequence out, you know, and keep it as a as a as a portfolio. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I mean, uh, 
Uh, of course, it's uh, nice when you have uh, after several job, uh, you have a lot of yeah, you have several experience, and of course you try to keep uh, uh, as much uh, as much uh, work as you do. But of course, uh, if you don't have any experience, like me at the beginning, uh, usually uh, it's it's also very nice to have the opportunity to do some tests. You know, some some sometimes there, there is some production who who allows you to do some tests. And uh, the good thing with that is, uh, let's say, no pressure. You can you can do it, and then um, and then even if it doesn't work, it still, it still can be used as a, let's say a portfolio to 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 apply for another production. That's actually what happened for me. I did a test for the data cleanse. It didn't work right at the beginning, but with the test I could apply for Asterix. And then because of the test I did on on data prints, they give me a test for Asterix. And the test uh, for Asterix, I, I could do it. I could uh, I could have the job, and uh, and that's I think that's how it is, you know. So uh, so I think uh, I hope it answers your question. Uh, another question. Hello, I want to know about your thinking process. I mean, after the script, how are you going to plan your scene? Any specific pattern or way, and how to practice a better visualization, staging, or storyboard or storytelling? Please give some tips. Well. Of course, uh, everyone has uh, his personality uh, uh, or her personality. Everyone has uh, uh, his or her own way to, to think of a, of a sequence. Uh, for me, I mean, if I can tell you my process, I, I read the script, and usually uh, the whole day I don't draw anything. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't draw any line. I just sometimes uh, uh, on my desk maybe close my eyes. And try to imagine the the, the sequence. Uh, I mean, we, we we have seen so many movies. I mean, I guess you have seen all, all, you, all you guys have seen a lot of movies in your in your I mean, your life, you know. So uh, so you still have a, a, a inside of you a kind of a cinematographic language, and uh, and you have to yeah to to imagine and 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 uh, and try to 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 feel okay uh, as an audience. Uh, what would you do that? I mean, what 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 will please you? You know, uh, I guess we all have some some criticize. Uh, uh, we, we can be all critics when we, we watch a, a good or a bad movie. We can feel what works. We can feel what doesn't work. You know, and uh, and so it's very important to to like say to play the movie in your head, to play your sequence in your head, and let's try to 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 feel what you want to see. Actually, it's a bit. Uh, Let's say uh, not very pragmatic, but actually it's very it's a lot of that story, but it's a lot of feeling actually. It's a lot of feeling. So you have uh, that's why it's very important to really don't limit it yourself because of the technique. Don't hesitate to to do uh, yeah, to, to do crazy stuff if you have to. Uh, uh, as I said, yeah, sometimes I have to uh, to show the emotion. I have to show, for example, feet or only a hand, you know. Uh, and actually, sometimes it was much more. So stronger than showing the face actually so uh, but uh, other than that you know it's also of course a lot of uh, uh, practice a lot of try uh, and fail and we try again and fail you know so uh, so that's why it's very important to you know uh, when you have ideas just to rough it out you know and test them uh, uh, in your in your in your storyboard you know and feel it if it's working or not. That's a very important thing, and of course, uh, how to practice a better visualization, staging. Of course, well, I come from a two D animation, so of course, uh, uh, I have a background of uh, of posing uh, and uh, so which and expression. So that's that's helped actually a lot. Except I don't need to put everything on model anymore, so which is nice. Uh, so it's uh, it's um, yeah, I, I would say uh, yeah, do life drawings uh, or. Just uh, watch a, a movie and put press pose and 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 stage it, you know, draw it, and uh, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, actually uh, what I would say. And uh, of course, m m my, my let's say my uh, my weak point is uh, uh, backgrounds, like to, to show nice uh, backgrounds, uh, cities. I'm not very good with that, you know. So uh, don't hesitate when you work as a team, you know, to ask advice to uh, your colleague. 
uh, and uh, and uh, you know uh, share things with, uh, with other people. Okay, if you have trouble with that, don't hesitate to 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 ask around. And it's also very interesting to to pitch. I, I know that you guys are alone; you're not in the classroom, you know. But uh, don't hesitate when you have a storyboard to show it to to anyone, to uh, to a, a friend, uh, even your 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 mother or, or, or your father, or whatever you know. Just just talk to it, pitch it to them to see if there is anything they understand. Because we are doing a, a we are doing this job not for the people from the animation business, but for a real audience. So that's the people who need to understand your story. You know, so don't hesitate to to, to do that. So they can understand. So to see if uh, your story is uh, understandable. Uh, what kind of things uh, uh, give you inspiration? Well, uh, uh, I, I guess uh, uh, everything. I mean, uh, watching uh, movies, uh, of course. You love the movies you like. I mean, uh, of course, I my inspiration comes more uh, from uh, uh, the Japanese animation. Of course, I'm a big fan of GP movies, Miyazaki, Takahata, Satoshi Kon. Etc. Uh, Etc. Et of course, I love uh, uh, like uh, Bright, Pixar, Bright Birds movie. I mean, I, I love them. Uh, it uh, of course uh, the storyboard you will do is an image of your personality. Uh, so of course, uh, if you if you love uh, 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 let's say uh, emotion or, or, or very uh, subtle emotions, you know, maybe it's going to be hard for you to to. To uh, to uh, to storyboard very action very uh, crazy action, but uh, but then you know uh, it's I think it's okay and uh, it's uh, also uh, important to 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 maybe to specialize on, on something you know why not? Uh, but uh, but um, let's say what kind of things you by observation observe everything movies uh, your 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 even yourself your experience in life the way you communicate with people you know. Even that, for example, when you tell a story, you tell a, you tell a joke to someone, you know, uh, uh, all the beats, you know, you, you, you create when you tell a joke, uh, or sometimes some situation between, uh, between your friends, you know, it's uh, very important, actually. And, uh, and the funny thing with, by doing storyboards is when I talk with people, actually, I think I'm even more clear now, because I know, you know, what could be unclear, you know, and uh, and uh, the way I tell stories, where we have to explain what I what I've done, for example, the, uh, when we were doing our last trip in, in Japan, all the way north, uh, tell all the stories. Uh, it it helps you to uh, to um, organize your your ideas, what you're gonna tell for them, what you're gonna tell later, you know, to create kind of a tension, you know, and uh, uh, yes, also something very important in story. What I forgot to tell you is the. Uh, uh, don't try to show everything. Uh, it's very important to sometimes to to hold the information as much as you can, you know, and uh, and to create a kind of a let's say tension, you know, or whatever. And um, but this, you know, you will be able to feel it if you if you watch your your your, your storyboard like uh, like uh, in a, in a straight ahead. So uh, so um, so yeah, just don't try to show everything. Uh, uh, try to to. And also keep keep it very simple. Uh, sometimes uh, in, in the script there is a lot of information, and sometimes some information actually uh, uh, how do you say that uh, uh, doesn't work between each other. So don't force yourself to to to, to put everything. Uh, if you have to make a choice, then make it. You know, or if you can find another ideas to 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 uh, so you can show. Uh, uh, everything in a different way, you know. But don't try to stuff too much things. Otherwise, you know, uh, uh, the audience won't understand because it takes time sometimes for the audience to 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 understand some 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 emotion. It's uh, it takes some time for for them to uh, to get to realize something, you know. So if you show a lot of things, you know, then they they, they first you you make them they will be lost, and and second. Uh, you know, they, maybe they won't feel uh, enough empathy, empathy to the to the character. So sometimes it's very important to give some some brief, you know, some, some 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 time. Okay. Uh, well, what else? Uh, otherwise, uh, just to talk briefly about Long Way North. Uh, uh, I guess uh, uh, there is there's going to be, of course, uh, American. Uh, 
release uh, 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 probably during this fall in October. Or yeah, maybe just uh, just for the idea, we we, uh, we just came back from Japan uh, when we show Long Way North uh, in Japan in the Tokyo Animation Award Festival. We won the grand prize; it was amazing. But uh, I think the craziest thing is we managed to show our movie to GB Studio, mm -hmm. and uh, and it was uh, maybe one day before we, uh, we we were going to leave Japan back to Paris. It was a bit crazy to organize because we were short time, but we could manage to yeah to, to screen the movie at GB. And to uh, show it to, uh, to Takahata, Takahata, who is the director of uh, of Princess Kaguya, the latest one, or uh, the My Name the Yamada, or, or of course uh, the Grave of Fireflies, and uh, and he loved the movie. It was uh, amazing to 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 speak with him, to talk. He talked we talked about the movie uh, for almost an hour after the, after the screen. So it was really wonderful. Let's see. Sorry, just a bit of communication. About the uh, long way north. Hope it's okay. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> uh, well, anything else I should say? Well, we're just coming, uh, well, yeah, sorry. We're coming to uh, we're we're coming to uh, the end soon. So, if anything else or any questions, uh, please feel free. Yes, and uh, well, uh, I hope uh, I hope uh, I hope you will uh, enjoy my course for the one who uh, submit. Submit it. Sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Leon. That was great. Thank you for this interview. I hope it was. I hope my English wasn't too not too bad. Oh no, it's great. It's fine. That's <laughs> cool. Great. Well, thank you, thank you everyone for joining us this Saturday. And uh, thank you, especially during a, a weekend. Yeah. Well, have a good, uh, have a great rest of your weekend. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.